Hi guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video and including today a cameo appearance by the Samsung Galaxy S2 for a very good reason. Uh, this is a special Great Apps application video uh, because it is, as usual, available for any Android, any Android device but the person who actually developed the um, application is me. Yes, this is my own application and this isn't a opportunity to kind of uh, do uh, an application which has no relevance to you because this application is all about Asus Transformer Prime uh, videos. So I'll go straight into the application and show you what it is. Uh, this is the icon and uh, although the, I the words are a bit too long for the icon, it's called Asus Transformer Videos and when you launch it, it's going to launch into, uh, when it's finished with that screen, it's going to launch into an application which shows you uh, many different videos um, and playlists and news feeds for all the videos that I do. So let's have a quick look at the application itself. As you can see, it's in that style that I uh, prefer with the news articles down the left hand side and then the actual news article in the middle. And what this is doing is it's simply scraping the news articles uh, from my YouTube channel feed. So. Uh, we start on new videos and this will show you all the videos I'm uploading from my YouTube YouTube channel as you see them. And so at the moment we're looking at the latest one which is to do with the um, Basics Volume 1 video that I recently uploaded. Uh, one uh, problem is unfortunately the text doesn't seem to properly um, format itself. It, it loses all the text wrapping and all the um, paragraphs so it is just one long line unfortunately. Uh, but it has all the information and if I press on the video it should simply launch itself into YouTube where you can actually start watching the video which is absolutely fantastic uh, for keeping an eye on my latest videos. Uh, it's not going too fast in a moment because I think the Wi-Fi is uh, not too hot in where I am but here we are, it's just started. If you want to use a traditional mouse so that's me talking again. Uh, talking about that. So going back into the application itself just to show you again that the new stories on this left hand side. A good one to look at if you're sort of new to videos or you've started watching recently is this archive set it, uh, option here. If you press on that and then it will show you a couple of playlists that I've set up. So this one is reviews where I look at different aspects of the Asus Transformer Prime. So here it was build quality, uh, real world GPS test, looking at the uh, micro SD card, uh, where to get your news and so on. So again, the um, video is on the left hand side and then the video itself is here. And uh, I set up some more playlists as well. So the next uh, playlist is apps. I've done about 30 of these great apps, including this one, in a moment. So there you are. You can see what different apps I've been looking at. Let's just press on another one. And it will quickly show you that I did a video on Read It magazine, another one that was to do with Flipboard and so on. The basics videos, the new series that I've been doing recently, uh, all the quick tutorials, quick tutorial videos that should last less than a minute. And there they all are, just listed down there, so very nice numerical order. And then some of the cool stuff, I think I've done some videos on wallpapers, the full review, the GPS story that I did and the wrap and so on. I'll put all the extra things into that one there. So, uh, a very comprehensive application for finding all my videos. I suppose you could use YouTube as well, uh, but this has got a few extra options and I find that these playlists um, put it into a much better use. Going on to Facebook, I now have a Facebook page, so this is going to show all the news feeds from my Facebook uh, information. Uh, so take a look at all the uh, stuff there and you can make a comment. Got a contacts button. That looks a bit small because I think it's supposed to be suited for a smartphone, but there, just if you need to contact me. And then some uh, little instructional information about how to use this application. Fairly simple stuff which I've just shown you in this uh, quick video. Anyway, and again, I do apologise for the small text, that's something I couldn't change. And finally, I've got the Twitter feed here as well. But to be honest, this mostly just shows that I've published videos and so on. So that's how the application looks on a tablet. If I just turn it uh, portrait away, you can see that it still works absolutely fine. Just again, a bit of a problem with the text, but it all looks absolutely lo lovely. So that's on the tablet. Let's have a look at what it looks like on a phone. And there we are, the phone again starts on the new videos and you can quickly scroll down them. If I press on one of the articles here, 
it looks a little bit better actually. It goes into the new story and then there's the uh, information down there. So it is ex almost essentially a replica of the tablet, um, in, except for that when you have a new story, it moves to a new screen. And you have archives down there, Facebook, and you just need to swipe along if you want to look at the About and uh, Twitter feed stuff. So there we are. Uh, a wonderful application, but it does have one more thing uh, in its box of magic tricks that I just want to show you. Let's have a look at what that is. So that was a push notification. And if I just scroll down there, you can see that the Asus Transformer Prime application has sent me a notification to tell me that... A new video is available, basics compilation video, and if I press on a link, that should take me straight to, uh, well, it'll give me the choice to go and look at the video. So that's one f advantage you get with the um, application, is that it will tell you when I send a notification out that a new video has arrived, and I don't know if you heard it on the tablet as well. Well, I'll just show you. Well, it came up anyway. Well, having a bit of problems there. So, new video, basic compilations. So that popped up, and there's a notification down here, just when uh, my tablet starts working again. And there's a notification down there. So, that will be extremely useful for you on the move uh, to find out uh, that you have a... Um, New video. The only problem is that uh, me being an idiot is that I've actually put a bracket on the end of it and it looks as though YouTube can't find it. So I'll have to remember in uh, later notifications not to put brackets in my notifications. But anyway, uh, that's a quick demonstration of my application uh, for Asus Transformer Prime and uh, any smartphone. Uh, is it excellent? Well, it's, uh, I'd like to think it's uh, not bad. Um, where do you get it? Well, it's not on the Android Marketplace yet because uh, you have to pay a developer's fee to get on the Marketplace and it's just a bit of a soft launch really to see if anybody's actually interested and will use the application. So I put a link uh, probably on the bottom of this YouTube video and it will be also on my uh, Facebook uh, page on how to get the application. Completely free of course, no charge, and there are no adverts as well, I, ho I hope you notice. I'm trying to keep this completely free because it is, after all, uh, just another way of looking at YouTube videos, so uh, there's nothing new or fancy there. It's just a, a nicely presented way of getting the videos and using that push notification to know uh, exactly when a new video is out. So I hope you like the video, uh, I hope you like the application, uh, I would really appreciate any feedback on the application uh, as and when you use it to see if it works. One one word of warning I will give you is that the Facebook page does seem to be temperamental, sometimes it doesn't work com uh, completely, which is a bit frustrating. For some reason, it only works in landscape mode if you tilt the smartphone, and sometimes it just doesn't work at all, so um, apologies for that if it doesn't work, but I will hope to improve that in later releases if I carry on with this. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you again soon in more Asus Transformer Prime videos which aren't about me.